Hello. My name is Anna and I will be your guide on a journey towards a healthy and free body. I will share with you my knowledge, so that you can independently take care of your body. Muscle pain and tension is something that most of us encounter. This can be the effect of a sedentary lifestyle, continuous stress, and even improper habits during daily activities. Often, these ailments seem to be inevitable. But is that really the case? Thanks to self-massage, we can help ourselves in many situations that make our daily lives difficult. You don't have to be an expert in anatomy or have professional equipment. Your hands, a bit of time, and a willingness to learn are enough. I will tell you how to independently, directly, and effectively counteract the tensions and pains that bother you. Through practical advice and simple instructions, I will guide you step by step on how to identify the problem and how to solve it. I will be with you at every stage, helping you to better understand your body. Do you know the feeling when, after a hard day, you dream of a professional massage that would allow you to relax your muscles and free your body from tension? Surely. However, we often lack the time, money, or opportunity to seek professional help. But what would you say if I told you that you already have everything you need to provide yourself with relief? Self-massage is your self-help tool. It is a technique that you can learn to apply to yourself, regardless of the place or time of day. All you need is to find a moment for yourself and focus on your body. All you need are your own hands, an open mind, and a willingness to learn. No matter if you struggle with neck pain after a whole day spent in front of the computer, or tense muscles after intense training, self-massage will help you alleviate these ailments. Muscle tension is often the result of our daily lives, stress, prolonged sitting position, incorrect posture, and even lack of proper movement. Sometimes they appear after intense physical exercises or due to overloading of specific muscles. Long hours at a desk, constant looking at a computer or smartphone screen, carrying heavy bags on one shoulder, all this can lead to muscle tension. They often manifest as pain, feeling of stiffness, or movement restrictions. They can also cause headaches, spine problems, and even fatigue. Sometimes, muscle tensions are so strong that they start to affect our quality of life. How to identify muscle tension? The first step is to listen to the signals sent by your body. Do you feel pain in a specific place? Are your muscles stiff or is it difficult for you to move? These might be signals that your muscles are tense. A specific type of muscle tension is trigger points. Trigger points are places in the muscles that have become extremely tense or contracted. They can cause pain in the place where they are located, but they can also send referred pain to other parts of the body. They are often the cause of chronic muscle pain. Identifying muscle tension is fairly simple. The muscles are stiff, painful, and difficult to stretch. Sometimes we can also feel pain when performing certain movements. Trigger points are something else. They are specific areas in the muscles that are exceptionally tense or contracted. These are often small areas that can be compared to a pea or a small plum. However, their impact on our well-being can be huge. The pain caused by a trigger point is often sharp and radiates to other areas of the body. For example, a trigger point in the upper back can cause neck pain or even a headache. Identifying a trigger point can be a bit more challenging. During massage, you may feel a sharp, intense pain in a specific, small area of the muscle. This pain often radiates to other parts of the body. When you press on a trigger point, the pain usually intensifies. So how should healthy, relaxed muscles behave during a massage? First of all, they should not hurt. If you feel pain during a massage, it is a sign that your muscle is tense or has trigger points that need attention. The second important indicator is the muscle structure. Relaxed muscles have a smooth structure without trigger points, hard and painful areas of small surface area. If during a massage you feel hard lumps or knots, these are places that need to be relaxed. Under pressure, muscle fibers should spread smoothly, without any resistance. Imagine that the muscle is a stream of water flowing freely, without obstacles. If the muscle fibers are too tense, they will not spread freely under pressure. If it jumps under finger pressure like a rope, it means that it is excessively tense and needs to be relaxed. 
relaxed muscles do not jump under pressure, but react delicately and fluidly to pressure. Understanding what relaxed muscles should look like is the first step to effective self-massage. Feeling your body is key to effectively managing muscle tension. This way you can not only alleviate pain, but also prevent further problems. So let's start by listening to our bodies and giving them what they need. I encourage you to discover different techniques of self-muscle relaxation. These are tools that you can apply at home to feel relief and improve your well-being. 1. Self-massage. Self-massage is a technique that you can apply by yourself, without the need to visit specialists or use equipment. Your hands are the tool here, and your intuition and the feel of your body are your guides. Below I will introduce you to the basic self-massage techniques that you can apply in the privacy of your own home. Kneading. This technique involves gentle kneading and rubbing of the muscles. Imagine that your muscles are dough that needs kneading. Your finger and thumb work together, like tweezers, gently kneading and stretching the muscles. For example, if you have tense neck muscles, you can sit comfortably, place your hand on your neck and start gently kneading the muscles with your fingers, making small circular movements. Squeezing trigger points. Trigger points are small, contracted areas of the muscle that can cause pain. They are usually harder and more tense than the rest of the muscle. To identify trigger points, move your fingers along the muscles, looking for areas that are painful or particularly tense. When you find such a point, gently press on it with your thumb or finger for a few seconds until you feel relief. Remember, the pressure should be strong but should not cause pain. For example, if you feel pain in the lumbar area, you can place your hands on your lower back and press with your fingers, looking for trigger points. Rubbing. This technique involves flat and rhythmic movements of the hands over the skin surface. This gentle rubbing helps to warm up the muscles and increase blood flow. For example, if your arms are tense, you can sit comfortably, place your hand on your shoulder and gently rub the skin, making circular movements. 2. Stretching muscles. Stretching muscles is another technique that does not require any special equipment and can be performed almost anywhere, at home, at work, or outdoors. The goal of stretching is to increase muscle flexibility, improve joint mobility, and relax tense muscles. What are the basics of stretching? Imagine that your muscles are elastic ropes connecting bones. When a muscle is tense, the rope becomes stiff and uncomfortable. Stretching helps to loosen these ropes, increasing their length and flexibility. It is important to feel a gentle tension in the stretched muscle during stretching, but it should not cause pain. Always remember to breathe calmly and deeply, this is the key to effective stretching. Now I will present you an example stretching exercise. Stretching neck muscles. Sit comfortably on a chair, maintaining your spine in a natural position. Tilt your head to the right trying to touch your right shoulder with your right ear. You should feel a gentle stretch on the left side of your neck. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds, remembering to breathe calmly and deeply. Then repeat this exercise, tilting your head to the left. 3. Rolling. Rolling with a roller is a technique that allows deep muscle relaxation and release of trigger points. Massage rollers are small devices, usually made of hard foam which you can move along the body, creating an effect on the muscles similar to a massage. What are the basics of rolling? Rolling involves placing the roller under a selected part of the body and then gently moving the body in such a way that the roller moves along the muscle. Rolling helps to increase blood flow to the muscles, which speeds up the recovery process. In addition, the pressure exerted by the roller helps to release tension in the muscles and trigger points. Now I will describe an example rolling exercise. Rolling calf muscles. Sit on the floor and place the roller under your calves. Rest on your hands placed behind you. Then, by moving your body forward and backward, move the roller along the calf muscles. You should feel a slight tension and pressure on the calf muscles. If you encounter an area that is particularly tense or painful, Stop for a moment and gently balance your body forward and back to further relax this area. Rolling is a powerful tool that can bring many benefits to your body. Remember that you do not have to exert a lot of pressure to achieve effects, gentleness and patience are the key to effective rolling. 4. Acupressure. 
Acupressure is an ancient treatment technique that originates from traditional Chinese medicine. It involves applying pressure to specific points on the body, known as acupressure points, which are associated with various organs and systems in the body. Stimulating these points can help alleviate pain, stress, increase energy flow, and improve overall well-being. Acupressure involves gently pressing or massaging specific points on the body. The pressure should be strong enough for you to feel it, but not so strong that it causes pain. At each acupressure point, pressure should be maintained for several seconds to a few minutes, depending on your comfort. Example of an acupressure exercise, acupressure for headache relief. There is a point called LG20, located on the top of the head, where lines connecting the top ears intersect. Gently press this point with your fingertips for about a minute. You should feel the tension begin to subside. Remember that acupressure is a technique that requires gentleness and patience. 5. Sauna. A sauna is an excellent place for relaxation for your body and mind. The heat generated by a sauna causes the blood vessels to dilate, which increases blood flow and oxygen delivery to your muscles. In this way, it helps alleviate muscle tension and speeds up the recovery process. How does a sauna affect the muscles? When you are in a sauna, your body becomes warm and flexible. The heat helps relax stiff, tense muscles and joints, significantly increasing your ability to stretch and massage these areas. How to use a sauna? I suggest starting with short sessions about 10 to 15 minutes to start. Over time, as your body gets used to it, you can gradually increase this time or the number of sessions in one day. It is best to use the sauna two to three times a week to achieve optimal benefits for the muscles. 6. Cold baths. Cold showers and baths, although they can be uncomfortable and even painful, are incredibly beneficial for your body. Cold effectively reduces inflammation and helps regenerate muscles after intense exertion. When we expose our bodies to cold, the blood vessels contract, which helps to reduce swelling and inflammation. Then, when we return to warmth, the vessels dilate, increasing blood flow and delivering more oxygen to the muscles. This process helps your muscles recover faster. How to use cold showers and baths? The principle is simple after intense physical exertion, such as after a workout, take a cold shower or bath. You don't need to use icy water, it's enough that the water is cold. Start with 2 to 3 minutes and gradually increase the time to about 10 minutes. Cold showers and baths are just one element of your biological renewal plan. Combine them with other techniques such as massage or stretching. Remember that each of these techniques can work differently for different people. The most important thing is for you to experiment and discover which ones best meet your body's needs. Your body is unique and deserves an individual approach. The adventure with self-help and self-managing tensions is a process where you are the explorer and your body is the unknown territory to be discovered. Enjoy this journey!